Today we're going to learn about the bearded dragons. Bearded dragons originate from Australia. The most common species in the pet industry is the inland bearded dragon, the Bigorna viticeps, which was formerly called Amphiloborus viticeps, but we don't like to talk about that. The inland bearded dragon is sometimes called the central or yellow-headed bearded dragon. Members of the Begonus genus include the Pagona barbata, the eastern bearded dragon, the Pagona henry lawsoni, the Rankin's bearded dragon, the Pagona minima, the western bearded dragon, the Pagona minor, the dwarf bearded dragon, the Pagona michelli, the northwest bearded dragon, the Pagona nilarbor, the nilarbor bearded dragon, and quite obviously, the Pagona viticeps, and the Pagona microlepidota, the small scale bearded dragon. The bearded dragon is tan to yellow in color. It's called bearded because of the dragon's ability to flare out its dark skin when it's threatened or territorial. Its body appears flat, which becomes even more pronounced if the dragon is alarmed. There are spines on the throat, sides of the head, and sides of the body. The head is wedge-shaped, and the bearded dragon has a tail that is almost as long as the body. Bearded dragons also produce venom. Since this venom is not harmful to humans and most animals, it's believed this was a trait used by the dragon's ancestors when hunting. Where do you think you're going? Contrary to belief, bearded dragons do not regrow limbs. If a dragon were to lose a tail or an arm, it would not grow back which I learned the hard way. It's difficult to distinguish males from females among hatchlings and juveniles. When they become adults, sexual differences become more apparent. The males generally have larger heads and larger, darker beards. The femoral pores of the males help to distinguish them from females. The species of dragons grow to various lengths. The Pagona viticeps and the Pagona barbata grow up to a whopping 24 inches. The Pagona michelli grows up to about 18 inches. The Pagona minor grows up to about 14 to 18 inches. The Pagona nilarbor grows up to 14 inches. The Pagona minima and the Pagona henry lassoni grow up to about 12 inches. With the Pagona microlevidota at a measly 4 to 6 inches. Bearded dragons will only grow to the max size that their environment allows. This means if you put a young bearded dragon that's not finished growing in a cage tank that is too small, then they will not be able to grow to their full size. Too bad for you, little guy. Bearded dragons live from about 5 to 14 years old, though living to 14 years of age is very rare in bearded dragons. The inland bearded dragon lives in the arid woodlands and deserts of central Australia. It spends most of its time awake in bushes and trees, and is also found basking on rocks. When it's extremely hot, the bearded dragon will resort to burrowing underground to keep cool. The bearded dragon is diurnal, which means it's awake during the day, and is an omnivore. It forages for food such as insects, other small lizards and mammals, fruit, flowers, and other plant materials during the daytime. Come on, eat it. Come on, you like this kind of stuff, just eat it, please. Oh, come on, don't be like that. Look, <laughs> he's wearing his hat. Oh, that's great. I don't think he likes it. I'll just take that off. Similar to mammals, they will have extended periods of rest where they shut down or sleep for a few months. This is known as bromation. When bromating, they should be left alone and temperature inside the enclosure should be reduced. As a wrap-up, bearded dragons don't get very large, they eat a wide variety of foods, are active during the day, and are, for the most part, very gentle. Oh hey there little guy, nobody did that. Just stop that! Just quit it! Well, I hope you learned something today about these beautiful, majestic creatures.